Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. We have another polish pickup wish list with me. This is for August of 2023. I'm pretty sure the theme is like dreamscapes or something, but I can't remember. I just remember it got voted on and then I immediately forgot because it felt very nebulous and I just, it, it won't stick in my head. So what we're gonna do is go through all the nail polish. As you can see, I have all the tabs open up here. We're gonna wish list. And then uh, throughout the week, I'll narrow my wish list down and make my purchase on Friday. But you'll see the initial, like, anything I like even a little bit goes on the list. And then, you know, throughout the week, I narrow it down to a couple polishes typically. So first we have 1422 Designs Friendship is Magic. It is inspired by an image of a dream from an episode of My Little Pony. It's a berry colored base with a bright violet magnetic strike and holographic flakes. This is quite pretty, but I know that I have, even though I don't have this in a magnetic, I do have a lot of similar colors and I'm trying to cut down on buying so much similar stuff, which is hard when you have a collection like mine, but I will pass. Alchemy Lacquer's Dream a Little Dream. I immediately want to add this to my wish list. Uh, it is inspired by a dreamy silhouette of a girl sitting on a swing, looking into a nebulous night sky filled with shades of pink, blue, and purples. It is a periwinkle curly nail lacquer with pink, orange, gold shifting iridescent flakes and a touch of corresponding shimmer. 200 are available. So this one I added on my wish list, but I do think I have something similar. So I will need to go into my collection and take a look, but it is super pretty. I love this base color. All mixed up lacquers, nightmare wrapped in a daydream. Inspired by a nighttime dusk dreamscape photo. It is a dusty purple blue base with an intense blue purple shifting shimmer. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a cap or anything like that. And I really like how shifty this is, but I don't think that I would wear this very often. So I'm going to pass. Hard as nails, the rose gold beach, inspired by the rose gold beach. Very straightforward. Our polish can look gold in some lights and bluish light pink and other lights, a very shifty base with iridescent flakes, which can appear as a whole rainbow of colors. 150 are available. I'm always really like interested in these polishes, but whenever I buy them, I do not wear them. Like these kind of really light, almost metallic looking colors. I know I have one from Mooncat. I have a few from other brands and I like to look at them in the bottle and then never wear them. So I'm going to pass. Atomic Polish, Strange the Dreamer, inspired one of the most beautifully written and narrated books that I have listened to, Strange the Dreamer. It is a bright aqua polish with Aurora pigment that shifts gold to aqua and no cap. This is very, very pretty. I really like these type of colors, which is why I have so many of them in my collection. And I'm pretty sure I bought like three in this tone at PBE recently, so I have to pass. I cannot add this to my wish list. Baroness X, Sakura Dreams, inspired by a dreamlike scene of walking th as the Sakura blossoms are falling around you. It is the sister to Eleusinian Mysteries, Mighty Heart, Mimos, and My Pony Plays the Mamba from earlier this year on PPU. It is a clear base with a magenta rose peach gold shimmer loaded with silver reflective glitter. Best used as a topper, but you can build it up in two to three coats. So you can see, I think in most of these, it's being used as a topper. Uh, but here, I think this is the build up in two to three coats. Which So it looks cool either way. I have too many toppers that are like reflective that I already don't use. So I'm going to pass. Bo Rubs Lacquer Poison Forest. So this brand is... I would call it new, but not new. This is uh, from one of the makers of Fair Maiden. This is very pretty. It is inspired by an image of a dark and ominous forest. It is a deep plum purple with iridescent shifting shimmer and aqua blue, magenta, and hollow glitter. I really like this. So I'm going to add that to my wish list. Edford and Grove, may your dreams take on a wonderful adventure. Is this a newer brand? This has to be new to PPU. I've never heard of them. Brilliant blue base with a strong turquoise shimmer and scattered holographic finish. 100 are available. It's not calling to me, but if anybody knows anything about this brand, let me know in the comments because I really haven't heard of them. BKL Beneath the Air Tree. This is a nice green inspired by Elden Ring and it's mostly beautiful backdrops. Sister polish to Belladonna Berries. It is a dark turquoise with gold to green to blue multi-chrome shimmer. Looks like there's no cap. I have a lot of greens like this. So it, like for me, this is not like my, when I think of BKL, I don't think of this finish. I think of like weirder finishes. So I'm going to pass. 
bluebird rolling with my chromies okay see this is another one this is the type of color that i want to buy these and then i do and i don't wear them even though they look so cool i just never put them on but i love to look at them in the bottle <laughs> inspired by technicolored lucid dreams it is a sky blue jelly base with a rainbow mix of large particle shifting shimmer that gives sparkly chrome like finish so i want to add this to my wish list but i'm gonna pass oh my gosh i want this by vanessa molina floating island it is a jelly violet base with iridescent flakes holographic flakes and aurora pigment 400 are available i know for a fact that i have a few polishes like this but maybe not in this purple i definitely have it in this purple but i i don't need it i want to put it on my wish list just so i can take it off later Ooh, this is pretty Cadillacer Healing the Earth, inspired by a, the painting Healing the Earth made by Gilbert Williams. That's cool. Pastel blue base with matte cotton candy pink glitter and silver flakes with a subtle aqua shift. Okay, that's cute. I did just buy another really light color from Cadillacer last PPU. Um, I'm going to add this to my wish list and think about it. Cameo Color Lacquer, Basking in the Blush, inspired by a dreamy image of a peachy pink tone and decorated outdoor room with reflective floor, overlooking a picturesque serene beach and rainbow arcs across the sky, the blue sky with fluffy pink clouds where the sea and sky meet. You could just show me the picture instead of writing all that out. Um, light peachy pink base with slight hollow sparkle, full of gold copper peach pink shimmer, copper pink flecks, rainbow micro flakes, and a touch of silver hollow micro flakes. 105 are available. This is kind of an icier pink, and it reminds me of like crushed velvet pants that say juicy on the butt. Um... I don't know. I don't know why it makes me think of that. But yeah, I'm not into the super icy light pink, so I'm going to pass. I like a hot pink. Cattail Black and Blue. I wanted a polish that represented the fade into Dreamland. So it's a blue to black thermal polish with green, blue, fuchsia, and gold color shifting flakes and silver reflective glitter like the night sky stars. Blue at its warmest, cool toned black when cold. 300 are available. So it is a thermal, and I don't really purchase thermals that often, not because I don't like them, but because they die before I really get good use out of them. So I typically just tend to pass on all thermals. Luna Cosmetics Cloud Spires, inspired by the fantastical gamescape of the Spyro the Dragon games. That's funny. And the namesake round Cloud Spires. This is quite pretty. Uh, sheer pinky mauve base with yellow lime aqua shifting shimmer. Pink orange and indigo shifting iridescent flakes and silver holographic flakes. This is one of those like icier or paler pinks that like it's very pretty but it's just not my style so I'll pass. Oh that's cool. Caloris to Carol Vivid Dream inspired by a multicolor enchanted forest. It's a sparkly shifty multi-chrome base loaded with a multi-dimensional magnetic effect. Purple, pink, teal, purple. Okay double purple fairy flakes green blue purple pink and gold purple and pink reflective glitter well I, i'm sorry that doesn't make any sense um there's a lot of colors in this is what i have to say i don't think i read that with the right cadence uh but yeah this is a very magnetic very sparkly very purple polish um, but I'm going to pass just because I don't like this kind of like magenta y purple. Crystal Knockout Home Sweet Kitty Home, inspired by a dreamy cottage with a tiny kitty resident. It is a forest green base with pink, copper, gold, aurora, black micro shreds, holographic micro flakies, and color shifting flakes in purple, copper, gold, and green. This is, I know it says it's a forest green, but to me this reads a little bit mintier. I don't like a minty green. I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not a big mint person to be honest. Like the flavor of mint. I only just recently came around to mint and chocolate, so uh, I'm going to pass. Cupcake polish, vibe like that. Inspired by the dreamy canoe scene from Taylor Swift's Karma featuring Ice Spice music video. Lavender based polish filled with red to gold shifting Aurora shimmer and reflective glitter um again just a very uh, there's a lot of icier pinks in this i like cupcake polish a lot i love their booth at uh polish and beauty expo but uh this is just not my colorway oh that's cool cuticula from another planet inspired by an ai image that cuticula created um 
From another planet, deep teal jelly base with large particle orange, red, gold, green shimmer, green metallic flakes, and silver holographic flakes. This is very pretty. I have a, a feeling this will stain your nails, but I kind of like it. I'm going to add that to the wish list. How do you guys feel about AI? Like, I don't like a lot of people think this stuff is really cool. I just don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't think it's very interesting, to be quite honest. My boyfriend really likes it for making like imagery for his uh like role playing games but to me like i don't maybe i'm not creative enough or maybe i just don't like the art style i don't know but i'm just not into ai i just think it's it's weird and it's kind of scary dangle foot nail polish come what may uh this is she took inspiration from moulin rouge which is a sheer gray base packed with silver holographic flakes and a strong red orange gold shimmer Definitely that, like, it's got that icy kind of pinky red look. So I, again, will pass. Um, but it is, I like the these types of flakes that are in it. It's quite pretty. Ooh, this is a fun pink. Do nail polish Barbie Dreams, inspired by Barbie's Dream House. The color resembles Barbie's signature pink. It is a pink jelly with iridescent flakes. 300 are available. I've never purchased anything from do i follow them on instagram this is quite a cute color i'm gonna add this to my list okay this has me a little bit messed up all right this bottle looks like it's square but the bottom makes it look like it's oval so now i'm just confused my brain hurts okay dreamland lacquer moon dew inspired by my friend's lock screen okay that's interesting oxblood base that's wild uh with green blue violet shifty shimmer 500 are available okay i can see the ox blood now this is actually even though i have a few like blue to green multi-chromes this addition of like this ox blood red adding that drk nails glory inspired by a blue sky with sunshine lines it is a deep shimmer that shifts from sky blue to cobalt blue and a light violet mixed with silver reflective glitter and holographic microflakes. Oh, this is quite pretty. Actually, I'm adding that. Okay, I've added more than I expected to already. Emily Damali, Wishful Thinking, inspired by another AI-generated image, <laughs> a medium dusty purple crelly with a subtle turquoise shimmer and white glitters. 320 are available. This kind of, it's giving winter to me because of those, like those white matte glitters always make me think of snow for some reason. Um, but I really like this. I'm going to add that. Ethereal Lacquer Latte Cloud, inspired by a foamy latte cloud suspended above the fictitious ethereal coffee shop. A light, light latte brown base with cool tones and a sheer formula featuring bright blue to violet shifting shimmer. Okay, I'm a sucker for these kind of like sheer colors with these like intense shimmers. I'm gonna think about this one. Femme Fatale Starlust. Here's another one of those icier pinks that is just not my vibe, but it is still pretty. Inspired by a crescent moon over the sparkling waves crashing on a pink sandy shore. It is a soft pink Soft pale pink jelly base packed with mesmerizing teal blue purple shifting shimmer that is delicate and reminds them of all things unicorns and dainty sunset clouds. Uh, tons of reflective glitter and some pale teal blue accent matte glitters. It says two to three coats and a glitter suitable top coat is recommended. 400 are available. And like I said, like I'm not into this color, so I'm going to pass. Oh, this is cool. Garden Path Lacquers, the heart of the dreaming inspired by neil gaiman's sandman graphic novels um let's see clear base filled with emerald gold blue shifting ucc flakes iridescent green gold red shifting flakes black metallic micro flakes and holographic micro flakes and okay i was gonna say i feel like i have one that looks very similar to this and this is a sister polish to you'll join us someday which i bought that's a um it's based off of over the garden wall so honestly now that makes me want this a little bit more adding that to the wish list girly bits beautiful illusion this is a funky color inspired by a dreamy photo i found online <laughs> beautiful illusion is a sheer base saturated with an intense red gold shifting shimmer and dusted with purple metallic flakes 250 are available. It's, I like the contrast between the base and the purple flakes, but for some reason I'm not into the sheerness of it. 
like I can see a lot of like the nail tip here and I don't like it for me that looks kind of more like tip wear really early on so I'm gonna pass glisten and glow tears from heaven it is a dark gray base with deep teal undertones loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift pink red orange yellow and green this is a really pretty color I feel like I have a few like this because I'm attracted to like these kind of gray, these blue grays with the shimmer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I I think I'll think about it. Ooh, Graceful Nail Polish Walking in Wonderland. This is my kind of sapphire blue. It is a deep blue jelly base with blue crystal color shifting flakes. 130 are available. I really like this color. This is, I'm doing all blues in September again. So I'm going to add that to my wish list. Hearts and Promises Dream Escape. Inspired by a random photo of a beautiful deep sunset. Uh, the polish is a deep violet hollow base with orange gold shifting shimmer. 300 are available. It's very my color, but it's like, you know, hollow is, is fine, but it's not something I want to splurge on, I guess. So I'm going to pass. Indie by Patty Lopez. Boreal Enchanted Forest. Inspired by Boreal Forest Image. It is a magnetic multi-chrome with blue, purple, iridescent flakies and aurora shimmer. 250 are available. It just seems like a typical kind of magnetic. Um, really just that like blue, purple color shift. I have a lot like that, so I'm going to pass. Jen and Barry's Depth Perfection. Inspired by an above and below scene of the ocean inside of a bottle, a ship floating on the sea looks small compared to the corals and sea life hiding beneath its depths. This picture makes me really like this. Um, Lagoon blue base with a strong rose orange green shifty shimmer and a sprinkle of holographic flakes. This is pretty cool. Look at how different it looks just in the different lights. This one looks very alien to me, and so anything that I can associate with aliens, I want it. Gior Couture, it was all a dream, inspired by Dreamscape Tree Art. A uh, violet green blue multichrome magnetic with blue, green, gold, pink, copper multichrome flakies. Um, we've seen quite a lot of these like magnetics with this similar colorway this month. So I just, I don't know, I'm going to pass. Kathleen and Co. in another world. Every time I see pinks like this, I just think of my friend Nick's polish because I just feel like he likes these kind of pinks a lot. Oh, this is inspired by a scene from The Lovely Bones, which that, I read that book and I've seen that movie and like i can't I don't don't watch it don't read it it's very sad um in another world is a light purple base loaded with fuchsia shimmer and hollow flakes i don't want this specifically because it's based on this this i like this book made me feel like i was gonna throw up so i'm gonna pass <laughs> that's all i want to say about that kb shimmer follow your art inspired by computer generated artwork what is with this ai <laughs> like why is everybody into ai <laughs> pay your artists you guys don't don't use ai um, it, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not going to get on a soapbox here, but like AI just seems kind of shitty. Like, I'm sorry. That's what I wanted to say about it earlier, but I was trying to be polite, I guess. Uh, it is just, just a multi-chrome, like, and it's got flakies in there and it's very pretty, but I have this kind of, it looks like it shifts to a lot of colors, but I just don't, I don't need it. Oh, this is fun. Alicia's Lacquer Dream Serpent. Uh, inspired by an image of a black dragon surrounded by red and orange clouds. It is a neon orange with a strong red shimmer. Black flakies, black red flakies, and red orange flakies. 150 are available. I feel like this is a very interesting orange. I'm going to add that to my wish list. You don't see a lot of oranges on Polish Pickup. And when you do, they're not always my kind of orange. Because I like a very specific tone of orange. And so I, this is like pumpkin-y orange. I love this. Lemming Lacquer, Your Dream to Me. It, the name of the polish is from the song Dreams by the Cranberries. Uh, I love that song. It is a turquoise blue jelly base uh, packed with mesmerizing purple to pink to copper to gold to green shifting shimmer. 200 are available. I definitely have, I'm pretty sure I already added something similar to this to my wish list. I have stuff like this. So, and it looks like this one's very sheer compared to like the ones that I have. So I think I'm going to pass. Lily Pad Lacquer Drifting Away. Oh, this is cute. Uh, inspired by an image of a boat adrift out in the dark sea, surrounded by the glow of the sun and the darkness of the clouds as the day shifts from night to day. It doesn't have a description of the polish, but it looks like a either 
like deep, deep burgundy or a brown. It's got some flakies and some hollow in there. It's kind of like a coffee toned polish. I kind of like this, so I'm gonna add that. Lucky 13 Lacquer, Dream a Little Dream of Me, inspired by Neil Gaiman's The Sandman. Um, it's got a lot going on. So it's a golden magnetic shimmer, gold hollow and reflective glitters and a semi sheer charcoal base. Use a magnetic to pull the Sandman's shimmering sands and reveal the stars sparkling in the night sky glows blue in the dark so it looks like you put one coat over any polish to slightly darken the base polish and add the magnetic and glow effects it's got 130 available so it looks like you get a lot of that color shining through whatever the original is so this is really interesting it seems like it's very versatile as you can see in this picture here i know myself and i would forget to use this so i'm gonna pass but i i do like that you can see a lot of the original color underneath of it. Ooh, okay, I'm already adding that to the wish list, <laughs> even though I don't need this because this kind of reminds me of a BKL I have. This kind of looks like a, a more opaque Dumacorn. This is Lumen, it's Space Cloud, and it is inspired by a space cloud filled dreamscape fantasy nebula wait what hang on let me try that again inspired by a space cloud filled dreamscape a fantasy nebula spacewalk somewhere between the stars and the mist i think we needed a comma in there somewhere um it is a shimmering blue to green and violet with shades of pink swirling around and through the stardust i'm uh, a nebulous milky blurple that's disgusting milky blurple now we're making a milky uh saturated with an indigo to violet aurora shimmer that shifts green and pink at extreme angles I do like this. It's quite pretty. So that's on my wish list. Ooh. Limby Designs Mystic Forest. Inspired by an AI generated forest image. Okay. All right. No more AI, you guys, please. Uh, it is rich forest green base with pink to red to orange to gold shifting shimmer. I don't know. I. It's the AI. It's throwing me off. Um, this is definitely my kind of color, though. So add that to the wish list. MJ Lacquer, Dreaming of You, inspired by recurring dreams of loved ones. Oh, that picture. Why is that picture so small? What? Why? I feel a little... I just got back from vacation and I'm tired. A purple shimmer base with black and purple metallic flakes, iridescent color shifting, and hollow flakes with an aurora shimmer. Um, you know, I feel like this would look nice as a topper, but I just gotta stop buying toppers. I can't stop thinking about how tiny this picture is. I'm gonna pass. Uh, Monarch Lacquer. This is the other half of Fair Maiden's split. This is called Enchanted Wings. It is a smoky mauve base with golden green shimmer and reflective sparkle. Polish draws autumn hues while channeling the dreamy wings of a magical butterfly. Uh, just not my color tone. I love a shimmer. You know me. I love a good shimmer. Oh, I like this pink uh, reflective, but... Yeah, I think I will pass. It's just not... I want hot pink right now. Oh, thank you, Moonshine Manny. That's exactly what I wanted. Entering the dreamscape. Um, inspired by the beautiful dreamscape the fairy godmother takes you to amongst the clouds in the video game Disney Dreamlight Valley. I need to play that more. I have that game. Um... Sunset pink glowing with red, orange, violet shimmer, hollow flakies, and gold flakes. This is exactly what I wanted, so add that to the wish list. MTK Designs, Dream Within. Inspired by All That We See or Seem is But a Dream Within a Dream, Edgar Allan Poe. It is a dark grape jelly with purple, blue shifting shimmers, sparkles, and intense iridescent micro flakies. This is very, very pretty, but I did add like a really deep... Oh, that's weird. Like totally different in different lighting. But I did add like a really deep blue earlier, and I think that's the deep blue I'm going to go with, to be quite honest. So I'm going to pass on this. Music City Beauty Dreamweaver. Inspired by a photo I found of a dreamscape online. Uh, deep teal turquoise base with blue pink magnetic pull, iridescent flaky shifting through blue. Green and purple and violet reflective glitter. I just am not on the magnetic trail. Like, I love magnetics, but I just, I like the ones I have. I don't want to buy more. I don't know what it is. It's like with multi-chromes where it's like, I already have all the multi-chromes I need. I don't need any more. But everything else I'll buy more of. I don't know what that is. Nailed it. Library of Dreams. I'm going to compare this to the Lumen and decide between those two. Inspired by Luna's dream scene in Animal Crossing New Horizons, a sheer pinky fuchsia base with a strong teal shifting shimmer and a touch of hollow flakies. 300 are available. Hmm. I don't know what it is about this. Like, 
colorway where it's like this really ethereal looking blue pinky purple i just love those night owl lacquer beguiling it is inspired by an image of a magical forest full of mushrooms i love mushrooms they're so cute this is a midnight blue filled with glowy violet fuchsia orange gold green shifting shimmer holographic flex and black red multi-chrome mo uh micro flakies huh let's see i just am not feeling like these dark it's still super summery right now so i really like bright colors so i'm gonna pass oh that's cute noodles nail polish fizz wizard this is inspired by the book and the movie the bfg i never read that for some reason let's see a clear base polish with blue teal green indigo color shifting flakes turquoise and black glitters hollow and matte and a touch of scattered hollow can be worn as a topper or built up in three coats textures texture dry so use a uh use one of those what are they called glitter glitter top coats oh my gosh um like i said i don't need another topper i like the name of it though oh man Th see this is what i want these are the colors i want for some reason add that to the wish list i'm going to compare the three that look kind of similar the other two are pinkier but still this is polished salvador dali inspired by the master of dreamscapes salvador dali his painting what is it? Galatea of the Spears. Periwinkle with copper gold green shifting pigment. I think this is probably the one I will settle on because look at that green. That is so cool. Okay. Paint it pretty polish. Waterfall Dreams. This is inspired by an image found on Google. All right, cool. I can find a lot of images on Google, my friend. <laughs> a sheer blue base with strong shimmer shifting gold, yellow, and green. 150 are available. Uh, just, I have a lot like this. We saw a couple like this earlier in the similar colorway, so I'm going to pass. These pictures make it look really, really stunning, though. Oh, my goodness. Um let's add that paradox polish strawberry lemonade summer shut up this is cute as heck inspired by hot summer road trips neon yellow with neon pink glitter and hollow glitters comes with a pot of magenta stars black light reactive this is cute so when i was on the plane back from nashville they like turned on this weird like blue light on the plane which i've i don't remember that ever happening and all my because i'm wearing 10 different pink nails right now uh all the neon ones like lit up and i was like i never thought that i would be in a black light situation on an airplane but here we are so this is cute i don't even care about this i mean i like i love star glitter i have a star glitter on right now but uh i don't even care about that because this is just cute as it is okay so added that penelope lou's magic garden this is just another magnetic inspired by a beautiful digital image hmm, interesting way to say ai uh of a magical rose garden green magnetic with purple pink gold pigment and little pink hollow glitters 500 are available yeah like i said earlier just i just don't feel like buying a magnetic right now i love magnetics but i bought a couple big magnetic collections last year and i'm just really happy with those so i'm gonna pass phoenix sixth station inspired by one of the most dreamy scenes from spirited uh let's see it is a dreamy mauve tinted base with coral red green olive micro flaky shimmer 500 are available not my color that's all like i like this kind of a finish it's very pretty but this is just not my color poetry cowgirl dream spa uh light peachy pink packed with green micro glitters a hint of color shifting shimmer and green gold blue purple iridescent flakies this color like these salmon colors if they're not like super neon looking they look so gross on my skin tone because to be quite honest, this is my skin tone. <laughs> so um, I'm going to pass. Ooh, that's pretty. Adding that. Polish for days. Interstellar. You know it's good when I add it before I even look at like more than one picture. <laughs> Inspired by a galactic dreamscape. This is, I love these kind of flakies. Navy base with rainbow of mixed size iridescent flakes and very small sprinkling of silver reflective glitter. Yeah, I don't have anything to say. Like this, this reminds me of cuticula's dragon glass just in like a different colorway and every big chunky colorful flaky since i bought dragon glass reminds me of dragon glass so i like this it's like minerals in dreams there is truth inspired by a beautiful picture from tumblr there's no e in tumblr girl inspiration picture is in our facebook group afternoon sky blue with a pinky violet to green shimmering shift and a dusting of iridescent flakes 100 are available 
this is one of those like icy colors that I told you about earlier where I'm like, oh, I love these in the bottle and then I never wear them. So I'm going to have to pass. Rain Dance Lacquer. Were they in last PPU? No, I don't remember. I feel like every time, every polish pickup, I'm like, who is this? And you guys are like, they've been in like PPU for like a year. And I'm like, what? Um, Queen of the Full Moon. Inspired by the surreal and beautiful boss fight with Renala and Elden Ring. I've never played Elden Ring. I only play colorful games that are cute and like basically just simulations. So I don't know. Queen of the Full Moon is a deep purple polish. It looks blue to me. With a strong turquoise blue shift and sparkling holographic micro flakes, the shifts will appear more turquoise or blue depending on the lighting. 100 are available. I am going to pass just because I don't like this like metallic base with these flakies. I like the flakies more prominent, I guess. I don't know. I just like not my jam this colorway. Oh, wow. Like... You guys are trying to get me with these kind of colors right now. Red Eyed Lacquer Candy Dreams. Inspired by Candyland looking dream image. A magenta curly with green teal shifting shimmer and micro hollow flakes. Uh, 200 are available. This is kind of the icier pink. And so I, and I've already picked, I'm pretty sure the one I want with like that super intense green shift. So I'm going to pass on this one. Oh my goodness. Adding that. Rogue Lacquer gets me with the flakies. I swear knowledge reclaimed inspired by a whimsical world of overgrown libraries and imagination where we reclaim all the knowledge books have to offer us it is a ew blurple marine base with blue copper red gold glass flake 600 are available actually 599 are available because one of them is going to be mine so oh i love this kind of color sassy cats lacquer floating realm this is cool adding that it is a light gray with a glowy blue shimmer 300 are available. There's just something about these really light, like, I guess you call them like office friendly type of colors, but then they have that really intense shimmer in them. Sassy sauce polish. That's what C said. Inspired by an oceanscape. It is a burnt orange creamy base. Ew, don't say that. Don't say creamy. <laughs> With a strong blue violet glowy shimmer that bounces off the background. Uh, 300 are available. Ooh, that is pretty fun. I like this kind of orange. I'm going to add that. Sovereign Beauty Pistachio Petals. This is a goofy color. It is a pink, blue, purple, yellow glitter flakes along with pink, green UCC flakes and pastel green curly base with red, orange, gold shifting shimmer and a sprinkle of silver reflective glitter. 150 are available. This one kind of looks like a condiment of some sort. I'm going to think about it. Stella Chroma glistens like a gem. Uh, I'm keep- what? Girl, I'm keeping the inspiration for this one to myself. Well, not to be critical, but what the heck? Like, what? Why would you keep that a secret? That's cut- half the point of this is telling us, right? Like, okay, now I'm just annoyed. Uh, it is Glowy Orange Beauty, created for the August theme Dreamscapes. A sheer orange base allows the bright red yellow to shine through and highlight red orange yellow flakies best coverage in two to three coats i'm just very stressed out about that <laughs> i don't know i feel some type of way so i'm gonna pass Ooh, swamp gloss dreamscapes on richmond street inspired by a dreamscape of pink walls green and golden dreamscapey loops and uh just like those golden friends on richmond street i don't know what that means a soft white base with pink, red, orange shifting shimmer and matte hexes. 300 are available. This is a weird color. Like the base is so, like it, I know it says it's like soft white, but to me it looks like, mm, yeah, I guess it is kind of white. I was going to say it looks a little bit grayish, taupey. I don't know. I like that. Sweet and Sour Lacquer, We Live in Our Minds. Inspired by the purple tree scene in the movie What Dreams May Come. We Live in Our Minds is a sheer terracotta curly base with a gorgeous purple red shimmer. 400 are available. I like Sweet and Sour Lacquer's uh, formula like this. I have a few polishes in this kind of way. I just don't like this color very much for me. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, that's cute. Sweetheart Polish Sunflower Splash. Inspired by gorgeous neon sunflower fabric I used for the Sunflower Splash sling bag. Well, that's not the inspiration. <laughs> what? I feel like sometimes the inspirations for polish pickup get me really stressed out 
because I don't understand the dreamscapes inspiration because I'm not like, I feel like it's very fantasy oriented and I'm not like a fantasy person, unfortunately. I wish I was. I wish I could get into fantasy. Um, but then there are people who are like, I'm just not going to do the inspiration. And I'm like, well, that's not the point either. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, it's a glitter pack topper featuring yellow, coral, purple, blue, and green glitters and a orange to pink to gold shifting Aurora shimmer base. I know I said that I don't need any more toppers, but this one is so cute. I don't even care that they were like, whatever about the the theme. Vapid Martian Paradise. It is inspired by a space age paradise. Beautiful berry red base. Uh, it's got an intense shifting gold shimmer and it radiates copper red and green. It's very sheer on the first coat and builds up in three. I love the Vapid bottle. I don't know. It's the font. The font on the bottle really gets me. Uh, and I like their the stickers on the bottom because they seem to theme them with like whatever the polish is. By the way, there are 320 of this available. I want to buy from Vapid, but I don't think this is going to be the first one I buy from them. What Addiction Never Ending Dreamer. Looks like we got a glow in the dark. It is inspired by magical mushrooms, fairy lights, land land full of dreams and magic artwork. Okay, we need some commas in here. I'm being very critical today. I'm sorry. Like, I just have a headache. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to read a lot out loud. And when you don't put commas in, it makes it even harder. It's an almost denim blue with a strong purple shift, purple flash stuffed with blue violet shimmer, a touch of reflective glitters, an array of UCC flakes in blue, violet, purple, pink, green, gold, and a kiss just a kiss of micro holographic flakies all in a glow in the dark base. Look at that. That's fun. It's so funny. Like colors like this, you never, like at least I never expect them to be glow in the dark. So it's always cool when they do. Look at that light blue glow. That's really fun. I don't really care for the base color. Like I just, I like a, like a more royal blue and I like a very, um, like sapphire blue. Denim blue is not my, like not my favorite. I like some denim blue, but I have a few that I just got recently, so I'm going to pass. Whatcha Floating City. It is a magnetic green, blue, purple with pink neon glitter. Blue matte hex and shimmer. 400 are available. We saw a lot of magnetics like this. So you guys, if you like this kind of magnetic way, you got your, you got your pick. Wildflower Lacquer Foxfire. This is very pretty. Inspired by artwork found on Pinterest, a bright teal base with turquoise undertones and green to blue to purple shifting microflake shimmer. This looks like, um, you know, those egg candy, like the chocolate eggs you get at Easter, like the foil wrapped ones. This reminds me of the foil that is wrapped around them. So, oh, that does look a lot like this picture. So that's really cool. I really like this, but I don't think that it would beat out the others that I have on my wish list. And I'm trying to be chill in August because September is going to be crazy because that's my birthday month. Um, so I'm going to pass. And then finally we have Zombie Claw Zombie Dreams. Oh, this one's fun. Inspired by Dreaming of Zombies, it is a gray base loaded with strong blue shimmer and red black flakies. 200 are available. This is pretty interesting and I do like it. I'm going to add this to my wish list. And so that is all the polish. Um, I don't really feel like, like I looked at some of this stuff and nothing is really like screaming my name. Like sometimes I get stuff from the hand and nail or the miscellaneous, but not typically. Like they have like some cute scrunchies, but I don't really wear scrunchies um, and just some like other little stuff. So if you're interested, check this stuff out. But my final wish list. Oh, they moved where the wish list is. Here we go. And it tells me how many are on there. Great. So I don't have to struggle to count. How did I get 33 on here? I literally, oh, these are from last month. Okay. So actually just 30, only 30 guys. Um, I have some narrowing down to do because I only like to buy like two to three. Um, so I know a few of these look kind of similar and I will compare those throughout the week and like take some off. I like to narrow down throughout the week because I feel like it gives me time to think about it. I like to make my full wish list now and then give it like a, a few hours or even a day where my mind is a little bit fresher and then start narrowing it down because otherwise I feel like I just get overwhelmed. So yeah, I will have to eliminate at least 27 of these and then um, we'll see. You'll see what I ordered when I talk about it in my haul.
So yeah, let me know what is on your wish list down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.